Hello. Well, this is a new one for me. It's normally quads and FPV, but um, a couple of weeks ago, I passed my amateur radio exam. Foundation course, and my call sign is M7TPO. Now, I bought an ICOM 52E, which is uh, a lovely radio. Works well, really got to grips with it. Um, really pleased because it has the repeater list in it for UHF, for VHF, and I programmed the D Star Simplex repeaters in from the repeater book. So everything was there, and I was working away, and everything was going great. And then I upgraded to a base station and got an ICOM IC705. Oh, this is fantastic. And then I went to look at the repeater list, and the FM list was empty. So I thought, right, okay. I had a look at my firmware, 1.12, and I think the one that is on now is 1.26. So I upgraded the firmware, went to the repeater list, empty. So I went onto ICOM's website and had a look, and they haven't updated their repeater list since 2020. So I thought, YouTube, that'll tell me where I can get hold of a copy of the repeater list and import it in so everything works like my ID52. Nothing. So I tried importing my uh, list from the ID52 into the IC705 and it gave me an error message. And I pondered and pondered and pondered and pondered and I was stuck. I was going to give up and sit there and painstakingly program it from scratch, from the repeater book, which would take me hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. However, just as I was about to settle down to sleep, God whispered in my ear, here's the answer. And he was right. Now, I've puzzled on how I'm going to do this video. The upshot of it is, I have the repeater list in the IC705 and it works exactly the same as it does on the ID52. Down below, I've put a link to that repeater list if it works hopefully on my google drive and you can download it and import it into your ic705 and everything will be honky dory but if you've got an id52 and you've got lots of stuff in here and you'd like to put that also on your ic705 i'll show you how to do it so we'll start with how i got what was on here onto the computer and then onto the computer, onto the 705. So you can do it yourself this route, or you can just download my copy from below and you'll be up and running in no time. So let's change the camera angle round and I'll show you how it was done. Right, okay, change the camera angle round and here we go. So from the ID52, press the menu button, go into set, Go into SD card, and then on page one, import and export, and then go down to CSV format. Go to date, and it's day, month, year. Go back, go up to decimal separator, and that'll be the top one, comma, and a decimal point. Now on my IC705, it was semicolon and comma, which I think is why it was giving me the ever error message. So you go back and then if you go to export and then memory channel, there are all my memory channels. So I've got UHF A to J, K to Z, VHF A to K, L to Z, three star, which is the simplex repeaters, and then my favourites. So then what I did was I selected all, and that was the file that it exported it to. So then you can do a new file. Now before you do this, I would highly recommend before you import anything that you make a backup of what you've already got. So if it does go a bit peat tongue, you can restore it. So new file, and then it'll put MCH, today's date, 
backwards and 01. And then you would have backed up your memory channels. And go down to repeat a list and back up, just select new file and it'll be RPT today's date 01 and that'll back up your repeater list. So what I've done is those files there I have then imported into my IC705. So we'll move over to that now and you'll see how that's done. Back in a mo. Right, so there's the IC705. So now, if I go to Menu, Set, the exported files that were in the repeater list and the memory channel on the SD card of the ID52 I put onto my computer. And then I took the SD card out of this and put obviously the memory channel file into the memory channel folder and the repeater list file into the repeater list folder. And then when I go SD card, import, then check that that CSV is the same. So we've got comma and dot, that's the same as the ID 52, and then day, month, and year. Now obviously if you're importing this from my copy, you need to make sure that yours is set to this as well. Otherwise, you might get an error message because it won't know what the separators are and it won't load properly. So then you want to import and then you can say memory channel and there is my memory list. So by pressing that, it'll import it in and then it'll say some jargon and it'll ask you to restart the radio. And you restart the radio and then you come back into your SD card, import and export. And you want to import the repeater list. And there is the repeater list that I imported there. And I press that and it imported it. And then it gives me some jargon on the screen and it asked me to restart the radio. And I restarted the radio. And then when I come back to the main screen, here. Well, actually, if I show you, if I go to my memory list, you'll see, as in the ID52, there's my favourites, there's my three star repeaters, and there's my UHF, A to J, K to Z, A to K, L to Z. So if I want to go there, there's all the repeaters. The tones, the duplex is all set in. The one by me is Dudley. If I press on that, and then you have to go to Memo, there's Dudley. And if you say Group, I can change it to A to J, and then go, oh, it's got 87. There we go. So if we come down, there's St. Helia. And there's Wolverhampton. And then if I go to group and come down, three star, there's the Canuck repeater, MB7IDP, which is my local one. Now, if we go back to VFO mode, if you hold down the DR over here and bring up the DR, there is your repeaters and just like the id 52 if you say near repeater dv was there fm repeater was blank for press fm repeater there are all my local fm repeaters and i can scroll down and they're all there so it works oh kitty minster's working so it works flawlessly. And if I say repeat a list, I can pick from it. Or if it was near repeater and we say all, there are all the repeaters. And they'll be the FM ones and the digital ones and the gateways. They're all there. So that 
is how to get the FM analog repeaters onto your IC705 so you can select them through the DR or you can just go in and select them from wherever you want and they'll all be there for you. I hope this video has helped you and I hope you find the files useful and I hope the way I've explained it to get them off the ID52 onto the computer and then onto there. If you've programmed loads of stuff into your ID52 and you want to copy them over, that's the way to do it. So, 73s, catch you soon. M7TPO going clear. Thank <laughs> you.